I don't have any John Wayne stories from my time in theater, and fortunately I didn't experience any physical injuries. But for many years, I couldn't shake the sounds of the enemy rockets whistling past my post, and I brought back with me the memories of those who lost their lives over there. I was honorably discharged in 1972 and carried the burden of surviving Vietnam for decades until 2009 when I woke up in an intensive care unit. That's because after 59 years on this beautiful earth, I no longer saw my life as being valuable. I saw myself as an unworthy burden to those around me, and I attempted to end it all. Mr. Chairman, I sit before you today with the humble admission that I've never been so happy or so fortunate to have failed at something. So from personal experience, I know just how important veterans' access to mental health services are. DAV appreciates Congress's continued attention to this issue and the significant resources provided to support the VA's inclusive array of specialized mental health programs and services. As these needs continue to grow, it's crucial that Congress provide the VA with all the mental health resources, staffing, and support necessary to provide for, to pre prevent, excuse me, veteran suicide. We appreciate Congress's recent enactment of the comprehensive mental health legislation aimed at reducing barriers to care for veterans in crisis by collaborating with community partners. We all have to play a role. DAV has a mentorship program that su supports alternative programming to help veterans overcome difficult transitional challenges after their deployment is over. Through our Charitable Service Trust, the DAV provided $2.2 million in grants to support Save a Warrior, a nonprofit organization dedicated to providing a unique healing outlet and intensive therapy options for veterans combating mental health issues. DAV has also provided nearly $1 million to Boulder Crest Retreats, where DAV leaders and spouses serve as mentors for the latest generation of seriously injured veterans and their caregivers. DAV has also been a longtime partner in co-hosting our annual National Disabled Veterans Winter Sports and Golf Clinics. We are very proud of these adaptive sports programs that directly impact and transform the lives and mental well-being of our most profoundly injured veterans. We can and we must do more to end the national tragedy of veteran suicide. <laughs> 